Ferris has to go back to the radio program that I referred to earlier on. I want to thank him in particular for being with us on this broadcast and point out that we'll continue with Robert Jastrow and Ken Chambers in a moment. A desperate time. A world at war. A boy alone. From the director of The Color Purple comes another home video classic, Empire of the Sun, now on video cassette. In Canada, the rivers run a little fiercer. Some people say you can taste it in the beer. Molson Golden, Molson Light, Molson is Canadian beer. What harm can a little water do? The damaging effects of water and time have always been Wood's enemy. Introducing new Rust-Oleum Wood Saver paint. A special wood formula with Teflon for twice the moisture protection of ordinary paint. So if it's going to get wet, get Rust-Oleum. Morning. Uh, what, no kiss? Oh, sorry. Lips will touch children preservative. will never touch mine. Okay. No. Oh, I want real commitment. Nutri-Grain? Mm -hmm. New Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Biscuits. Biscuits? Think positive. Oh, no sugar added. No salt, no preservatives. I'm positive I'm going to hate this. Introducing the only shredded wheat with no preservatives. Nutri-Grain Biscuits. Oh, okay. Oh. Now let's talk commitment. New Nutri-Grain Biscuits. <laughs> Now's the time to do it. You can close in on a great deal during Spitzer's 88 Closeout Sale. But hurry, savings like these happen only once a year, and the longer you wait, the less there is to choose from. Right now, prices are reduced as low as you're ever going to see them. Factory incentives are in effect. Trade-in allowances are a lot higher now than in the fall. The 89s are coming, the 88s are going, and soon they'll all be gone. Time to close in on a great deal now during the 88 Closeout Sale at every one of your Spitzer Auto Stores. Continuing our discussion now with Robert Jastrow and Ken Chambers. Dr. Jastrow, the, the Soviet mission to Mars, what impact is that going to have? What is it, what is it that they could discover as a consequence of that mission that would, that would fit into what we've been discussing? Well, they, they, they may uh, get on to the most critical question of all, which uh, Dr. Chambers uh, referred to, and that is, given all these uh, billions of planets that we now think are there, how many are inhabited? It's possible that life evolved out of non-living chemicals the way the scientists said it did, uh, but the probability of that happening is so small that it is uh, almost a, a miracle, and we are alone. Or it's possible that life is common. If we could find life on Mars, and that's one of the main objectives of the Soviet uh, missions to Mars in the next decade, then we would know that life evolved independently on two planets out of nine in one solar system. And so it cannot be a mir miraculous event. Because if it were, planets with life would be very sparsely distributed in the universe. You would never find a case where two in one solar system had this, this uh, unusual thing called life. Mr. Chambers, so the great uh, stakes riding. Uh, in, in, in the few seconds that we've got left here now, uh, when Dr. Jastrow talks about life, uh, we're not talking about humanoids. We're, I mean, you're talking about life in a very, very fundamental sense, are you not? That's right. So That's if we right. just microbes on Mars, it wouldn't matter. If life started on two places, we know it's not an improbable event. Well, it's difficult to say. I, the, uh, it may be an improbable event, it may not. It, until we find an example, I don't, think, I don't think we know. That's right. That's why Mars is so important. All right. Gentlemen, I thank you both very much. Forgive my ignorance. It's, it's a little difficult to elicit in, in, important information from you when I know so little about it, but I thank you very much for joining us this evening. That's our report for tonight. I'm Ted Koppel in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. This has been Nightline, a presentation of ABC News.